Okay, so this particular demo, we're going to show going from BRM back into Lightspeed with Add Transaction. Now, why would you do this? Possibly because, uh, as in this case, I've extended the, um, the dates. Okay, so I added another couple of days, which means that um, we've got some extra balance to be paid. Um, but there's a number of ways that uh, this might occur. The point is that you can start with a reservation in BRM and just press Add Transaction and then add in the amount you want. Choose the Lightspeed payment method, that's what should be automatically selected for you. Go ahead and do Add Transaction and that sends you in into Lightspeed into the quotes area. This is what Lightspeed uses for an inbound area to process inbound quotes. Um, you then make sure that you then just go ahead and press the, um, the checkout button and it takes it in. It loads this particular transaction, in this case for 20 bucks, um, in the context of this rental, it tells you when it was from, into Lightspeed so you can go ahead and process the payment and close that out. Now, when you've done that payment, um, BRM is listening and BRM will actually update itself when we know that we have that transaction as well. So that'll be in the transaction history in BRM as well as being having been processed in Lightspeed. Thanks for watching.